Good day, folks. I'm back to live streaming. Dean, about to go. But that's what I'm. On. Yeah, get down. That's how we throw it around. That's how we give up faces. That's how we tell the. Hang on. My audio working okay. Let me kill that. Say goodbye, music. Ask me, I don't know. That was me playing guitar. Supposed to pick the guitar up and do a lot. Change the scene. Have we got a video or something? There's a big delay on my end here. Let me get rid of that. Down. Whole big line up here ready to go. Everybody in the chat room. Audio's working. You can sit around my mouth. Yeah? Everybody seems to be going to each other. Well, I'll just go ahead and talk. I have to say, on both computers, for a time. Hi, John. Albert. Paul. Missing Sky. Hi. Lunar Odyssey. Damn it. Oh, choppy folks. Shit. Okay, uh, give me. Just restart everything. Sounds good. Just stay on this stream. We'll be right back. Back up here in come on YouTube. I mean Google. I mean YouTube. Looks like we're streaming again. Copy this time folks. And I'll reboot that page. I'll reboot this page. folks for this computer it's stuttering five minutes gone damn it have we got audio all ready to go It's still choppy. Unbelievable, eh? Well, I don't know. Choppy, choppy. Bad audio. Not much I can do about that. I guess we'll have to do it tomorrow night. I guess I'll just have to make a video of all the material I got here and put pictures and audio in that. So we'll wave goodbye. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. There's not much I can do about that. Check. Is that any better? Check. Check one. Check two. Check. One last try. Did that come out? Anybody on the audio? Is it any good? Stupid comments. So, audio screwed, eh? Maybe that's, um, maybe it's got to do with a high quality picture. Let's see if the audio stabilizes. We'll probably do the stream tomorrow night. Is it working? Unbelievable, 60 streams. This is the first time we had it this bad. That's all we can do, I guess. 
Yeah, I wiggled all my plugs. Didn't make any difference. Um, anybody want to comment? If it's not working this time, then I'll give it up. We'll do it tomorrow night. I'll reboot all the computers, everything, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing else going on. The computer's not, uh, it's very stable. I only use it for this. So now I'm not getting no comments. I give up. I give up. That's all we can do. Seven minutes, still no audio. I'll come over to the video here. I'll delete it. Okay, the audio is fine. The comments weren't showing up. Okay, here we go. That's all we can do. I'll put a notation at the beginning of the video. It's, here we go, folks. My apologies. I don't know. I rebooted everything. We're going to pick up where we left off last night. And this story is October 11, 2001. October 11, 2001. Same year as the tsunami and the earthquakes. And scientists were saying it's the duty of the scientific community to reduce the public's fear and anxiety about radiation. No health dangers from 876 millisieves a year. And that was the same guy who was talking about if you smile, the radiation won't hurt you. That was a professor. That was a dean at a university, by the way, at uh, Nagasaki's University Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences, who says smile and radiation can't hurt you. Okay, we'll go. We'll carry on. Thanks, Stephen. Local government. Now, this was December the 5th, 2011. Local government tests kids' lunches. The Tokyo Nursery School was serving milk with 18 uh, disintegrations a kilogram of cesium, which is emblematic of plutonium and strontium, uh, I mean uranium. That's what cesium is, is code word, because you can't, you can't find the uranium with the cheap uh, counters, and you can't find the sisters and the daughters, or I mean, it's over 160 times the EPA limit. And the milk industry was protesting, they were testing milk for contamination in Japan. That's how despicable these people actually are. The corporations were protesting it too. This was uh, January the 30th, 2012, AP. Grim government estimate says Japan's population is shrink by 40 million in the next 50 years. I don't think they'll have to wait that long. Not with all the numbers I got here tonight for you. That's uh, pretty incredible, okay? Once again, I remind you of that uh, Gigi's 5 billion becquels of better radiation and 10 liters of damn contaminated, decontaminated water. So they decontaminated the water. Every time you hear them decontaminated the water, think of 5 billion disintegrations per second, every second of better radiation in 10 liters, 2.5 gallons of water. If you drink it, you will die right on the spot. You won't get time to lay the cup down. You'd be lucky if you could pick the cup up. That's how toxic 5 billion disintegrations a second is. The average worker was maybe getting 5 Beckwells a year. So imagine what 5 billion, 5 billion would it be a second. That's frightening stuff, okay? And the homeless and the destitute are being picked up off the street and brought in there to work in that stuff. It's just, it's a growing alarm. 25 trillion Beckwolds of Fukushima. 25 trillion disintegrations per second, every second, for a million years, for billions of years. Radioactive material leaks into the ground. See, when people, a lot of people hear this Beckwold, they think, oh, well, boom. Like, it's like a flash. It's like a pulse. Right? And then it's all over. It's not. It's a pulse 60 times a minute. 1440 minutes every single day there's that pulse of 25 trillion becquels here and 50 billion becquels there and a couple of hundred quadrillion becquels there and a few hundred trillion becquels there and it's just let me keep going 
Uh, 40-year-old Fukushima radiation worker died acute leukemia after working at the plant for a week in Fukushima, August 30, 2011. Checkup showed no prior health problems. That's what we mean by these high concentrations, you know, per liters and per 10 liters. 10, you know, if he, if he got near that stuff, that's how he got the leukemia. Because the radiation went right into his bones, straight into his bones. Like cesium will do that to you. But see, uh, nuclear reactors are not cesium or strontium or iodine. They're actually uranium and plutonium. And so every time you hear the word cesium, you got to think about uranium and plutonium. And think about the iodine. They tell you about iodine-131. That's only got a shelf life of seven years. Hi, Stacy Lane. Think about iodine-129. It's got a shelf life of 15 million years. And so every time you hear iodine-131, you got to think about iodine-129. They're not going to tell you that kind of stuff, see? But you have to know that stuff. You have to realize that the nuclear reactors are made of plutonium. The nuclear reactors are using uranium. Period. And that's got a half-life uranium of 4.5 billion years. We've got to multiply that by 10. Right? The rule of thumb is when you hear half a life, you got to multiply it by 10. Because that's the big law, half-life. 44.5 billion years half-life. It's actually 45 billion years. But you got to realize that that's the trickery they use us to, to like no, uh, to dumb people down who don't know any better and are trying to work it out. To hear the words half life, and it's just like your brain goes stupid. This stuff doesn't have half lives, okay? It's just nonsense. Let me keep going for you though. Um, to chew. Let me keep going. Here we go. ABC Australia, formal, former special advisor, says Japan too scared to tell people the truth about the Fukushima future. Uh, you're looking at 30,000 Beckwells per square meter in Nagano, 250 kilometers from the meltdown. And think about how the winds blow there from west to east, right? And what I was talking about last night, how Japan was going to start up a secret city 300 kilometers west, right? Which is... Tokyo, west of Tokyo, and Tokyo is 450 kilometers away, 250 miles away from Fukushima. But the winds are blowing towards there. And you remember last night all the numbers, uh, 300,000 Beckwells, a cesium-137, and plutonium, all the way between Fukushima and Tokyo. That entire country is polluted. It's not 70%, it's not 30%. But think about how Belarus foreign minister had told the United Nations that his country's birth rate has fallen by half as a result of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. That was in 1995, right? That was an, that's an interesting statement, say. Um, and think about how Russia evacuated 7,500 communities back in the late uh, 40s, 1940s. 7,500 communities because of radiation. What does Japan do? They want to evacuate all the government employees and leave everybody else there to die in the radiation. That's how evil the Japanese government truly is. Hi, Radchik. And if anybody don't know who Radchik is, her link is below. And you should go check her out. It's Christina Consolo. She has Nuke Radio and is a tirelessly, tirelessly, fearlessly out there fighting for your futures and your rights. Same as Nubaru Madrik, Miss Milky has always put their backs to the wall. Missing Sky, 101, 102. How Stacy Lane, how, you know, Kevin Blanche, how everybody, you know, that came on board and studied this, realized the importance of all of this. But uh, cesium contamination stretched all the way to the Japan's west coast. Over 30 billion, um, 30,000 Beckwell's disintegrations in a, cu a square meter. So if your child's standing there, they're going to get serious cancer in a couple of years because that's hot particles that they're into. And so that's different, right? When you hear people saying, oh, the cancers won't come for 20 or 30 years, that they're, they're not taking into account the hot particles will do you in. Can do you in. Look at the worker who died in less than a week. 
Because when you ingest these hot particles, you get close to your heart, you're done. If it gets uh, right into the bone, the really good stuff, you're done. Because it destroys your white blood cells, and then your, your body totally becomes dysfunctional. But it attacks your immune system right away. Let me keep going. Um, new government radiation map released. Many people dismayed. Contamination 50 miles northwest of Tokyo looks worse than feared. That was, um, I thought that was an important one. We keep going because it took us forever to get our 137 watching CCM 137. Ratchet. <laughs> that was a good idea. 137, wow. And it took us seven minutes to get the stream up and run. Sorry, folks. Let me keep going here on because uh, I got some really good stuff. Just got to shoot through all of this here. And these are some staggering. Holy crap, I got some luck there. So I just done that one. Radiation in California. I thought this was interesting. From Forbes, May the 31st, 2012. Forbes said, Radiation in California, bluefin tuna may be a blessing. Lead scientist, my for first thought was this will do more for conservation of this animal than nearly anything else could. That's a scientist. <laughs> right? So, like, it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say there, but that's okay. Fukushima Governor, this is a national emergency. On August 20th, 2013, a massive radiate, radioactive leak caused top officials to hold emergency meetings. Leakage believed to be continuing. That was, um, I think about 25 trillion becquels of Fukushima radioactive material that leaks into the ground. And... You discover that with the expensive equipment. You can't find that with a normal Geiger counter. But a normal Geiger counter, you got to be so careful. Uh, you got to learn how to use it properly. And if you don't, you can get all these false readings. Uh, which is, if you live under the jet stream, that's probably a good thing. It'll maybe it'll get you to move. But you got to watch out because that's the whole problem with these Geiger counters. If you use them inappropriately, so make sure you read your manuals. I'm not saying don't buy one. I'm just saying that there's so many isotopes out there that you actually got to get your Geiger counter calibrated to those isotopes. The ones you're buying off the shelves are for low level. But, you know, maybe maybe, uh, maybe you'll get the swing of it. So don't, don't say no, particularly if you got lots of money. Buy it and then learn. Try. Talk to the right people. Go out and watch videos of, of the experts and learn how to use it. And even send it away and get it calibrated. Uh, if you got lots of money, get a couple of them. Send some of them away, get them calibrated for uh, certain isotopes. For instance, the 137s, or 132, or the 129 iodine in particular, that's a harmful one. So if, or 132 cesium is a really bad one because you, your body, your thyroid, accepts it uh, nine times easier. I'm burping as I'm talking here, and I better keep my eyes on the conversation in case... Uh, my audio screws up on me again. That's terrible the first seven minutes. Let me keep going. You know, Germany produces 50% of its energy from solar. 50% is equivalent to 20 nuclear power plants at full capacity. They do that solar power during midday. 50% of their energy, see? Equal to 20 nuclear plants. And make no mistake about it, those Fukushima, what they call the Fukushima power, or nuclear power plants, they're not nuclear power plants. That's the byproduct of the weaponized industrial military complex. You know, the MOX fuel is two million times deadlier. They've been making power with the regular isotopes 50 years ago. All these enriched weaponized isotopes are for equations and directed energy weapons and military space-based uh, weapons and um, reconnaissance vessels in the space in the future. They're trying to crack the codes on the way to destroy the planet. Uh, I know I'm going to digress if I keep that up. Let's go to the next one. This was September 22nd, 2011. Government clouds brought radioactive iodine southward after meltdowns. Not only uh, northwest not only in the northwest dis uh, direction as reported. So the clouds brought the radioactive the iodine south word after the meltdown. So, 
you're hearing all these conflicting stories and the other one that you heard about before was the hundreds of sea turtles washing up dead on the Pacific coast. When the dogs try to eat them, they stop breathing and died almost instantly. Almost instantly. And so if I had a radiative rod here that was really hot particles, I couldn't finish that sentence. That would be instantly. And so these these turtles never sank because they got lungs, right, because they're mammals. And so they would have floated for a long time. And if they were floating through the plutonium and uranium in the ocean, which they probably were, the high doses areas, then um, they would also become radiated too. Even though they're mammals, even though there's animals, they become actually like little nuclear engines themselves, particularly if they ingested a lot of those buckyballs. And there's links below to peer, peer review academic studies about those bu buckyballs. Hi, Miss Milky. I forgot to say hi to Miss Milky tonight too, by the way. Sorry. Hi, Penny. Christopher. Philip. Lunar. Um... Let me come back to this stuff here. Where did all the plutonium contaminated water disappear to? That was a Japanese professor, May 31st, 2012, into the Pacific Ocean or the ground? Of course. And who can comprehend the magnitude of the radioactive contamination that threatens never to end? Yeah, the MOX is crazy. It's two million times. Unit 3 is two million times. It's a complete meltdown. There's no evidence. There's pools above it. You can find all the pictures. There's 2,135 pictures available below this video uh, that you can download from 90 different downloads. They're in bundles, and each bundle will tell you what the pictures are about. So you can download the bundles of Unit 3 and look for yourself. Um, magazine, the Fukushima crisis comes to the U.S. Professor, new and improved version of the original atomic plague is spreading. The atomic plague. You know, I thought of a name for, because um, uh, we're all, we've been trying to come up with a name now for like 70 days for Dana, and I think a good name for everybody would be Agile Provocateurs. Dana and the Agile Provocateurs. I, I don't know, I was thinking about it today, and that's what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to turn everybody into an Agile Provocateur, ain't I? That's what I'm up to. That's why I do all the things I do. That's why I'm here every single night. It's not about me, it's about you, it's about everybody. It's also about the victims out there that don't know any better and are terrified and terrorized because they can't, you know, find the truth and they can't find rationality and logic. And so I feel an obligation to keep this going uh, for all of those people that are terrified. And I see them out there in the comment sections all the time and it tears me apart. And I get that. I've seen that in my own life, uh, and understandably so, been through it in my own life. And so it's really important, I think, that people uh, have an option that's readily uh, visible, you know. And thanks to you folks always pushing and pushing and pushing this, more and more people are uh, able to become aware and, you know, take away that apprehension that is done to them because they, they understand something is wrong, but the media keeps doing these lies that they're able to pick apart, but they still ain't able to put together all the facts. And that's kind of what last night and the night was about, too. Uh, the atomic plague. Think of the atomic plague. Oh, hail Tefco! Hang on, i got to have a little bit of fun here. I was working on the Tefco robots, or zombies, and I had to do some more work to this guy. Now he's got two heads. Hang on, I'll bring up my other screen so I can see what I'm doing here. So, you can see he's got three eyes and two heads. Right? And then he grew another set of legs. I don't know if you can see that. He grew another set of legs out the side of his body. Right? That's our representative of Tepco. So now when I get some shots in the head, <coughs> that's the wrong side. Hang on. So now when I give Tevco shots in the head, <coughs> I gotta give him two shots each time. Pretty darn cool. I'll pop both of those heads later on. <laughs> Cause that's how I roll. If anybody's offended by a two-headed puppet with legs out of the side of them. Trolling, trolling, trolling. Is there a troll here tonight? Please tell me there's a troll here tonight. 
And I'll keep my eye on the conversation here. If there's a troll here, let me know and I'll pop his head for him. <laughs> the Fukushima crisis comes to the U.S. That's what I just read you. A new and improved version of the original atomic plague is spreading. The truth is so incomprehensible, it's easier to pretend it doesn't exist. That's a staggering, staggering statement, you know, isn't it? The truth is so incompre incomprehensible, it's easier to pretend it doesn't exist. I think we all understand that statement very well, don't we? Every bloody one of us. That's why we're here tonight, all of us. And new scientists says dump all the Fukushima into the ocean. They have to make people understand low levels of radiation don't matter. None of this is going to do anything health wise. They should go down to um, Fallujah in Iraq and tell that to the 80% of the children that are born that looks like uh, pinhead uh, radiation dickhead here. That they got legs growing out of the side of their bodies, no mouth, no eyes, no, and, you know, when their loved ones die, they'll be victimized their entire life, right? 80% of the women down there are having deformed babies from low-level radiation. That new scientists, they are truly our scum. That's the industrial machine, right? That's their uh, lap dogs, their attack dogs, too. Japan is raising uh, radiation limits to 20 millisieves a year. That's an extra 160,000 cancers per million people. Way to go, Japan! But you're going to move yourselves 250 miles west of Tokyo and not tell anybody. Move all your in, your family, right, and all your inbreeds. Scum, like I say last night. Hi, Elsa Lake. Rad Chick says, ice walls may make ground less stable, according to soil engineers. That's right, because water, and I got a couple of articles about that. I'm not sure if I'll get to it, because we're seven minutes late tonight. Brutal. Oh, radiation dickhead trying to get away. You ain't going nowhere, buddy. We're not finished with you for a while. Let me roll down, and we're doing okay. I'll keep running here. Hi, Darren Stan. Hi, John Klotz. Uh, Fukushima's fine. All hell, TEPCO. What's that all about? Fuck that. You people are stupid. Fukushima's fine. All hell, TEPCO. Oh, I get it. You're a troll. Pretty cool, man. Good name. We'd never figure it out without that big name. You're pretty smart. I'm glad you done that. Hi, Candace. Hi, Newman. I'm just saying hi to folks. If anybody don't know, if you're joining the stream right now and the comments are to the left... Then you're joining the live stream. The comments are below. Uh, the video has re-rendered itself and is back up on Beautiful Girl by Dana's site. Hi, Penny Miller. Hi, Cats Alive. Make is looking. Hi, Melissa. Uh, Morrison. Cucumber. Troll alert. Miss Milky the Clown. Says hi to Miss Missing Sky. I Sim uh, Gamut. Uh, Nuber Magic. Hey, buddy. I seen your comment from last night, just before it came online there. Thank you. I done that late. I done the show late last night. Yeah, we can all smell Tepco. You guys go off on them. I'm going to keep going here. You guys keep them distracted, and I'll get out the truth. We're, this is teamwork, okay? Here we go. <laughs> I love that. I don't even have to bother with the trolls no more, because my, my incredible subscribers will eat him for breakfast or it for breakfast and uh, they're finished they can't last very long worker dies while decontaminating in Fukushima October 11 2001 increasing numbers of her horrified parents in Tokyo area as young children enjoy radioactive autumn outdoors accused of being monsters monster parent if they're concerned about uh, their children playing and in radioactive uh, grass and radioactive dirt. Scum buckets. That's the, but the Japan government was planning on moving all of their employees out of Tokyo 250 miles west. Right? Meanwhile, they're demonizing parents who are complaining that their children are being murdered. Just because they don't get you today, that didn't mean they didn't murder you. Nuclear engineer. Radioactive plumes always coming out of the Fukushima Unit 3. That's MOX fuel. Water is not getting to the hot spots because it's too hot down there. Fission may be taking place underneath the reactor. Gee, you don't suppose? 
Anybody see pictures of Unit 3? I mean, you can download them from links below my video. Hi, Lizard. Hi, Kiri. Sylvia. Checks and balances. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are tearing the old troll apart. That's pretty funny. Fukushima cores melted through the containment vessels. I'm very concerned about sea life on the west. January the 3rd, 2014. That was a couple of days ago. It was yesterday. Senior scientists. The Fukushima cores have melted through the containment vessels. But that, that actually happened within five days, right? All the cores had melted through one, two, and three reactors. And Unit 3 was uh, Chernobyl times 18 million. That's what Unit 3, folks, is. is Chernobyl times 18 million, but that's not counting the pools on the roof. And the pools on the roof, uh, they had 1,535 bundles, 80 in a bundle, rods, 122,000 rods. And they're 2 million times more dangerous uh, the normal uh, weaponized uranium or plutonium because they have already been through the chain reaction. So spent fuel is a million to two million times more deadly because it's spent fuel and it had went through that chain reaction. That's why it sits in a pool for about 30 years before they put it in a dry cast trying to cool it down because it has incredible energies for a few billion years. But uh, for the first couple of decades, it takes that long for it to stop producing massive, inconceivable amounts of energy and heat. It literally has to be in water because of the heat. It'll catch fire because it's generating so much heat from the zirconian. Uh, will catch fire anyway, but because these rods are so hot, they got to be kept in the, before they can put them in dry cast. I know why you went on. Stanford publication. Hey, Tefco, go to work on number three. Way to go, Julie. Julie West. That's pretty funny. I just make sure. Fukushima is fine. What about all the headlines I'm reading, you shithead? What, a, what kind of idiot are you? You could have picked another night when I wasn't reading all these headlines so you don't look like a total idiot. What a dipshit you really are, man. Holy crap. Do you tell your mother what you do? you tell your girlfriend what you do? How you go out and lie and murder people? Do you murder it? Just refer to that guy as murderer from here on, folks. Don't call him Tevco. Call him murderer. That's what he is. He's a murderer. He's here to murder people. We're reading all the headlines tonight, and he's here saying none of these headlines are true. What a coward. November 11, 2013. Top nuclear official blocks interview with people over Fukushima exposures. They're only allowed to talk to friendly government leaders like uh, murderer or TEPCO guy there. Hi Penny, hi Alex. Uh, yeah, I'm saying hi to everybody tonight. I know that's going to throw anybody who's not used to this off, but anybody that's used to me knows this is my regular. I read a headline, I get a chance to say hi to a couple of people. Hi Cat's mom, Huma, Sporty Diver. Yeah, it's okay. Let them fight it out. It's always fun. Underground water just four inches from the surface by the Fukushima reactor. So, uh, August 28, 2013. Four inches. All that radiated, extraordinarily toxic from uranium and plutonium. Don't fall for the, the cesium and the iodine and the strontium routines. Who cares? I mean, they're emblematic. And you could find those isotopes, so you know the other isotopes are here. But you got to think about the buckyballs. And there's links below to that for anybody who's not familiar with it. But uh, the water is so much water in that site now, it's four inches from the surface. And so all the homeless, that Tepco, uh, little monster Tepco there, drags in. He's murdering them. Hi, Midnight Mars. Hang on, folks. I'll go get rid of Tepco for you. He's being a bit of a dick. You're, I'm a dumb lion uh, punt, Dana, no facts. Sure, I'm just reading all the headlines. I'm not making nothing up, dummy. I'm reading headlines. So for you to be there and saying that, that's a little bizarre. Why would you say that when I'm just reading headlines? What do you think, I sit here and make that up for something to do? <laughs> do you realize how easy it be someone to take videos and just destroy me in a single video because I sat here all night told lies? If that was true? Why would I do that? What would be the sense of it? 
You don't need to make this up. Nobody needs to make it up. Are you saying the three reactors are not melted? Are you saying a million people never went into Chernobyl? It was only one-third the size of Fukushima's reactors, the smallest reactor at Fukushima? And that a million people went out there? That people could only go out there for 15 or 20 seconds? And then they went home and never worked on radiation again? And the TEPCO, everybody knows it, Reuters reported it, BBC reported it, that you're grabbing homeless and destitute and impoverished people and dragging them in there and they stay in there for weeks and months and you just murder them and send them on their way with half paychecks? Do you think that's all the media is making that up? And that you're the shining light here, Tepco? I mean, Mr. Mass Murderer. You're a mass murderer, man. You're absolutely 100% mass murdering, uh, dumb, dumb, and you got me distracted. And so that's enough of that for you. Let me keep going on with the headlines. We'll worry about murderer later on. I'll keep my eyes on. Uh, hi, James. 42, kill the troll. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, Make is looking. Hi, bud. Hi, Duane. Yeah, that's okay, folks. You can call him murderer, but just like one or two comments is probably enough. Don't give him too much, but. It doesn't matter anymore because he's not coming back with that account anyway. August the 28, 2013. August, uh, like I said earlier, the underwater, underground water just four inches from the surface. So that's serious. There shouldn't be anybody on that site. See? If there was four inches of water underground anywhere in any city on the planet, you, wouldn't, you would have to evacuate the city in those areas anyway. But TEPCO, they can't get off that site or they're going to lose Japan, the entire friggin' country. And we're going to lose the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, it's a localized... Uh, don't, don't mind the trolls, I'm reading all the headlines. Fukushima plume to reach the U.S. West Coast in months. That was August the 28, 2013. Uh, prolonged exposure for California lasting over 10 years. Uh, they expect it hit Hawaii. Now, we already know it hit Hawaii. Early 2014 may already be surrounded. So some kind of half truths and truths in a lot of these, where they, you know, they don't refer to the studies that we all know about that showed. And most of the studies done on the uranium 137 and not on the bucky balls, but like the, the studies I was showing the last couple of nights of 1500, excuse me, a burping, 1501 uh, radioactive atoms per cubic meter of air in uh, California that's devastating that's truly devastating because you can't go for a walk without breeding hot particles in and Japan sent over the balloons right in 1944 and they made it over in three or four days because the jet stream is traveling at 100 miles an hour 2400 miles per hour it doesn't take long to cross the Pacific Ocean and um, that, that was sustained, right, because there was massive explosions, massive fires. The Fukushima 50s were the only ones on the site. It was out of control for weeks and weeks and weeks, and it was hemorrhaging out constantly to the point where all of Japan is contaminated and polluted and destroyed, and that the Japanese government are monsters going to build their little city for 200,000, 250 miles west of Tokyo and keep the slaves paying taxes and paying put money away to pay for their cancers in a couple of years, destroying just life after life because they're the inbreeds, right? They're the scum of the earth, the Japanese government. Truly is scum. You can't help but say what kind of scum would plan to build a city for government employees 250 miles west because the prevailing winds are coming from the west, right? And uh, Tokyo is 450 kilometers away anyway. So they're making sure they're going to get all of their own out of the way, not tell anybody... Just assume everybody is stupid. And that's why they got the internet blocked down there because they don't want people to find out the real truth. They don't want people from Japan talking openly with the outside world. They don't want the outside world looking at Japan. That's why they got the internet blocked since October 25th, 2013. And Sylvia says, Dan, it's not Fukushima on the California beaches. It's red plastic eating utensils. <laughs> uh, no, me, uh, me, um... Fuck you, Dana, dumb cunt. I like that one. I'm going to let that one stay. <laughs> What'd you spend up all night trying to work out that name, Tevko? 
That's such a great name. I got to get a screen capture of that one. Hang on. <laughs> I love it. That means I won. <laughs> when you got to make uh, names up like that, that means I won, see? Uh, let me see. <laughs> That's too funny. So awesome. Yeah, hands down, I cracked his ass if he's making uh, names like that. That's awesome. <laughs> I got to keep that one. Hang on. That's a special one. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they haven't got a leg to stand on when they're doing stuff like that, eh? Isn't that brilliant? I love it. That's so cool. So I got screen captures of that. Here we go. But let's get back onto it anyway. <laughs> Way to go, Michael. You tell him. That's pretty funny, though. <laughs> that actually makes my night when they do stuff like that. That was awesome. Anyway, um, let me keep going, folks. Because I know we haven't got much time left, so... Uh, let me see what did I do here uh, to, to, I guess I'm through it I guess I'm through the worst of it so here we go let's punch out Mr. Tepco head here and I guess we'll wind it down after that he had all the eagles radiation plume has now hit Hawaii uh, bu -bu -bu. yep we'll get rid of this so that was all serious headlines. Hi, Joel. That was all serious headlines that uh, have to be covered. Oh, look, I mean, hang on. So, two headed, four legged, three eyed. That's the result of Fukushima radiation all over the world. If we don't put an end to it soon, not, no, in a lot of places we can't stop it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna own it. I church canter. Basic data, thank you. I've seen you the other day. Hi Steven. Bad bad chick. Uh, red plastic picnic stuff. Most lame <laughs> excuse ever. Yeah, well said. I just want to make sure the picture lines up for everybody. Hang on. So he knows that it hangs up. Want one more look at this guy? So I was trying to work it out today. And you can see my other robot up behind me. He's coming along, but I'm having some problems. I'm going to put four heads on him. And, um... Here. <laughs> Brains! <laughs> That's Tepco's head there. That troll was there earlier. <sighs> yeah, baby. Sorry, folks. I was trying to pop two of them at one time. Double barrel. Let's give him a few shots. Whoa, he went off. Pretty easy. I feel better all of a sudden. That was too easy. Twice as much. Let me come back to the video. And so, sweet cat, sweet Jane says late. Yeah. So, folks, you want to catch the stream? You go to my uploads, right? You know where the playlist and the upload button is too on the front page. You click that, and you'll see events, and put that in your favorite. And then you can just click on that for your favorite, and it'll show if there's any events. I usually schedule them around 5 o'clock uh, British Columbia, Canada time for around 7 o'clock, 7.30 British Columbia Pacific Standard Time. And so if you look up uh, how that relates to you, wherever you live, you can get an estimate of when to check. This. And I'm usually going to stream every night. And some nights I just crash, uh, and there's nothing I can do about it. I, I set the alarm clock, but I don't wake up on time. But generally, yeah, it would have been a good double head pop. But I got the, that four headed one's going to come up tomorrow. I'll put four heads on them. And then I'll stab each one of them for something to do. You know, for a funny doll. The end of the frigate. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that's good. You can keep that one too. <laughs> that's too funny. You know, you're over the target when they got to do stuff like that. That's brilliant. And, uh,. That's all you can do, right? They're not going to go away. They're not going to stick there making names all the time. <laughs> Our disinfo agent. Yeah. Hi, Stacy Lane. Hi, Albert. Make his look in. Starlight. Miss Milky. Uh, 46 minutes. We're pretty well winding down at this stage here. Another five minutes probably, and we'll call it a night. 
the first seven minutes of the video were really bad. I'll get in and put an annotation there. That was pretty hectic. And uh, tomorrow night, what I'll do is I'm going to restart all the computers uh, about a half an hour before I go online. So there's plenty of time. Let everything settle down. Go in, shut off any of the updates. Make sure they're not running, which is what I always do, right? Um, Hi, Shift. Yeah, Castle Mom, it's over. That's, yeah. Dwayne, Judy. Yeah, thank you, Judy. Loves being. Thank you. Yeah, Sateco <laughs> sucks a big bag of dicks. That's too funny. I knew the way up. Yeah, I mean, that's okay, folks. Right? That's awesome that they got to resort to that kind of routine. All I done was pop their heads and call them monsters. I mean, to go and make up sweets and call me names. I mean, that's pretty rough. So I'll get, I'll get a lot more of that. At some point, they'll have 50 or 60 of them attacking me all the time. That's just the way it's going to be, right? They got no choice because they ain't got much competition. And most of the competition is here tonight. And because you folks are um, so good and so generous and so kind to me all the time, they have to come out and try to destroy that. They want to break that bond. And uh, there is nothing they won't do. I mean, they're getting big money, right? Japan paid one uh, firm $12 million just to monitor Twitter for anti TEPCO sediments, right? Radiation uh, chatter. So you know there really truly are monsters when you do something like that. Because only a monster could ever do something like that. I was just curious how far you would go. Hi, Annabeck. Hi, Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, and I'm going to set up another account for um, emails. So everybody can send me emails instead of personal me messages on YouTube. Because I do want your messages, okay? And that YouTube is just torture. It's torture. And I don't even know if I'm getting your messages. If they're all getting through. And I hear lots of people getting blocked. And I'm not blocking you. I might block someone like Tepco because they're so obvious. But I'm not going to block somebody just because they disagree with me. Or block somebody because they, they're they still wrapping their mind around. And they say stupid shit once in a while. Because I do that too. Like everybody else. Okay. I, I'm going to block somebody like that Tepco dickhead. Just for... Because they're so obvious and so blatant and so stupid about it. When everybody around them obviously knows the difference. And, and at night when I'm reading all the major headlines. Then they're saying I'm making it up or something. And I got. Uh, that would be the quickest way to destroy everything that I've ever done. And will ever do. Is to make something up or fabricate it or misrepresent it. You don't need to. See that's the whole thing about what I do. I look for information that is so crazy but so valid and so true and so vetted uh that there's no need to fabricate anything in order to because people are smart and if you tell them the truth and if you can go and find the really wild stuff and tell them that that empowers them subconsciously you empower those everybody that watched it um because that's what they needed they need that validity to be validated and they need it from sources that are, are they know are not going to play games and are not have a political or ideology uh, driving them, right? And that's what everything I got on my site was about. I make a video and then I move on to the next topic, right? I don't, I don't procrastinate on the one topic for months and months and months, except for this one. Because it's so big and it's so veritable and so many people are affected and so many people are harmed. And so many people are left vulnerable and uninformed and they're not able to get a really clear, you know, understanding. And so what I've been trying to do is gather up under my videos like-minded people. And so that they don't just have my opinion. They got, you know, hopefully they'll go underneath my video and go through all of that stuff and meet all those people and watch those interviews and everything else that are down there. So they have all these other opinions and they can make up their own mind. And it's just a starting point for people that we need something consistent out there that's not going to be bigoted or racist or prejudiced or biased. And it's just uh, who, like myself, who understands quite a lot and is able to keep it in the perspective. You know, and you got to pop a scattered head sometimes because that's always fun. And when you get trolls like uh, Tepco tonight, that means you won, folks. So... 
give yourselves a pat on the back, okay? Having Ratchik show up and, and uh, Nuber Magic and Miss Milky, all the big names in this fight against Fukushima that has been, you know, just normal people like us uh, show up on the stream. Probably drove them, right, drove them insane, right? Because that's valid uh, that they don't want to see out there. And so you folks won by showing up here tonight. You folks won by your comments and by, you know, you're forthcoming with your reality that you wouldn't be here if I was lying to you. You wouldn't be here if I was fabricating it to you. And that's what they hate. And so they're attacking me, and that's okay. Yeah, the truth is powerful, and that's why we keep coming out with it. Okay, well, that's about it for tonight. I'll come down the list. Uh, I already paid a lot of respects to the bloggers underneath my video. Links to everybody there. I'll say hi to everybody else. Hi, Michael. Uh, sweet Jane. Zukatatam uh, Totomo. See, I, I mongled lies that one. Stephen Meyer, who's always out there trying to make things a little bit better, and we appreciate that. And we, we recognize that. Annabeck, uh, Diver Dude, 701. Um, the Real Knight Wider Writer. Having won, just stirred up the opposition. Well, we won the Knight, Knight Writer. Give us that, boy. Yeah, that's right. I want you to think. That's that's the whole point. You have to think, but you have to have everybody's opinion, all the different angles and all the different ironies into you in order to actually be able to articulate it yourself and accept it and understand it. That's the whole point. What I'm reading you tonight was just the headlines, and I, and I opinionated on it, certainly. Miss Milky, and we'll come down. Marcus, uh, Dwayne, Lisa, Cats Alive, Scott. Hi, Scott. Thank you. Uh, Miss Milky again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Starlight. Thank you. Huma. Thank you. Mickey. Stacy Lane, of course. We. Uh, Sweet Jane. Stetson. Uh, Brad Puma. Albert. Checks and balances. Starlight. I would not be crying, though. That's a sad comment, but a true one. Well, that's what we're doing. It's a starting point. I'm not saying that I'm going to solve everything. I'm just saying I'm here every night doing my little bit. In my own little world, doing the best I can. It's a lot of work. It's hardcore. I'm at it all day, every day. I don't stop. It's, you know, every moment I'm awake, I'm at this. I'm looking, I'm searching, I'm learning, I'm listening. I'm sourcing. I'm vetting. I don't stop. It's dedicated 100%. and that, But that's all I can do. I'm nothing. I'm nobody out there. And so as a collective, we are all doing the same thing. I'm out watching everybody's videos. Everybody's doing the same thing, right? So we're all trying to do it. And this might not be for everybody, what we're doing here tonight. You know? It doesn't work for everybody. All I'm doing is having a stream and a conversation and putting out the information that I got today and then a collective of what I already know into the conversation. And we got to keep doing stuff like that. Hi, Dayron. Yeah. You're right. And digs them out of their trenches with rocks. Hi, Brand Puma. Yeah. He, Church Cantor. Joel. Thank you. The moments Nothing More. Christopher Taylor. Uh, David Maurer. Thank you. Basic Data. So I spend the night saying hi to everybody. Kircher K. Penny. Um... Diver dude, cat's alive. Want to see Zoe? She's snoring every night. Uh, so that's it for me tonight. There you go. That was a really good stream. I had lots of fun. Too bad about the first seven minutes. I'll get right in as soon as it pops back up and put a notation for everybody. And uh, make sure I get everybody. Just call me Shift. Okay, I will sew a tomato. Okay, I'm gone. We'll see you folks tomorrow night. We'll do this again. I'll start everything up before the stream, half an hour before the stream, restart everything, and uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'll jiggle all the buttons and wires, because that's terrible. I don't like it. It throws me off track. But that was a good bit of fun, though, having the old troll show up. I like that. That actually uh, appeals to me for some strange reason. So with that, we'll try to sign out.